we are good to go, ladies and gentlemen, and Jake, if you're out there. Um, so we're gonna see Lucario coming out, I'm guessing. Uh, nothing at these weird, but I kind of want to see this DQ. Yeah, you're good. I kind of want to see this DQ player uh, make it to Loser's Finals, because I would personally like to square off against him and not have the uh, mental damage of having to try and beat B-squared again. That hurts. Very stressful. But uh, B-squared, one of our best players, constantly performing well at everything that she goes to, so... Uh, we're expecting nothing but the best from her. Rev, I cannot wear these for one giving common picture. Rev trying to put my famous or infamous, depending on what you're standing No sign of secret. No sign of secret. Um, Rev being a jerk. Anyway. Uh, Lucario versus Toon Link. I, I can only imagine how polarizing this matchup must be. Uh, Toon Link just has a lot of better buttons, I think. But... At the, at the same time, you, there's always that cheese factor that Lucario has. And as I was talking about earlier, Lucario doesn't really bother me as a character. He used to, but then I realized that he, he's really just not that bad. Because I was just an uninformed loser, so I just immediately assume anything that I struggle with is broken. That's how I used to behave at this game. So, um, Diffie Q, though, he definitely shows this character's potential. He even uses, the, I believe, the same skin as Braxton. So, uh, a lot of reminiscence from there today. Uh, Braxton, former PR player, he... Not not on there now, I don't know why, honestly. Like he's way better than I am. And for some reason I'm not HM. I did that's not just the current of all the don't worry. <laughs> uh, I would I I'd really wish the PR was more representative of who's actually because I mean that's not to say that the people on PR cut this is not good for me and this is not good for me. What I'm trying to say is is that I don't think that the PR is really taking into account anyone because you've got players also from like IU who didn't make it on the PR, like uh, like exhibit A. Geo, uh, a really good band and a player from the region, or uh, or Jacket, and just all, I think all of them have good potential to make it on over some HMs to be perfect in the That's just my two shots on the matter. I don't know why I'm part of the PR. Oh, right, because Rex plays this character. And a forward throw on the Smash Bros. platform is going to be good. Gotta love those platform assists. Um, sorry, I, I apologize if my thoughts on the thing saying that I think, <laughs> considering I'm on it, I really believe that Braxton is far more deserving of it. And uh, I think he honestly has some, he's a little more aggressive than Braxton is, which I think is kind of where he falls short, because I think he sometimes doesn't quite judge all of his approaches. Uh, that's not to say his Lucario is bad, I think that's just the one flaw that he catches up. Okay, cool, thank you. Um, but, like again, it's not to say that this Lucario has no tools or anything, it's just, I think that one flaw can really hurt him sometimes. However, it might be, you know, it could be technology. Oh, the bomb. This, this game is so dumb. But uh, the bomb is going to help him get out of, or, yeah, help him escape that grab. Or actually, you know, help B Square escape the grab. And we just see, I love the movement that he uh, was explaining with this character, displaying with this character. Uh, using the Aura Sphere to, be reverse Aura Sphere to gain distance while also charging. What the hell is that? Toon Link's grab just went right through that. It's not like Bayonetta where it's intangible, is it? Oh, whiffs the forward smash. That would have that done it for sure. Toon Link's forward smash, despite hitting you with what looks like a plastic sword, really, really is a, a, a powerful move. B squared also not afraid to just rush in and give you those forward pairs, those up smashes. Again, does this move? Am I just that dumb? I, I need to ask if you can this really Yo, yo, does Lucario have intangibility on that counter? Um, yeah, during the first half. Of okay, that's weird. I was wondering what that was. All right, okay, so our, our Lucario sources are saying that that is the case, is that we get a... He does get intangibility, which I feel dumb that I never knew that, but... Uh, also, by the way, my apologies, the uh, names on this are first. Um, not, not you, I'm not talking to you. By the way, let's see what the Smash Retreat for. Man, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I can mess around on, on Jake's stream. I have all the power. Black screen. Oh, what is this? Anyway. Um, no, this is Loser's Finals, man. Uh, it says Winner's Finals, though. I probably should have changed that. My lord, do you know? Or no, this is Loser's Semis. I'm still a moron. Yeah, because you're still a That would be nice. Two dollar bracket would actually be good if I can get three. I don't know how much money we have. 
Whatever. I don't care. I'm just here to have fun. And anyway, let's see what we can do here. We got some more bomb setups coming out from Brittany. Very characteristic of her too, Mike. I love that she just throws bombs in random places sometimes because it, it, it seems, sometimes it can seem a bit nonsensical, but like it's really just to have those random hitboxes coming out of nowhere. It kind of reminds me of, uh, for you Guilty Gear players, it reminds me a lot of Faust, how he's just, or, or, or Bedman, more so Bedman now that I think about it. Just uh, those lingering hitboxes, which can be kind of troublesome to, uh, to most players because sometimes you just don't know how to deal with them and you can get yourself in kind of a screwy position. Uh, nonetheless, uh, that's kind of, I feel like that's two links with the game plan, is it's just a lingering hitbox character. The only difference uh, between that and Pac-Man, who is also a lingering hitbox character, is that Toon Link has really good rolls. And another one of those aura canceled up smashes is going to do it. We've been seeing Divi-Q get tons of mileage off of this. Also, I think I misspelled Divi-Q's name. Man, I should not be running this stream right now. For example... Okay. Anyway. Um, <laughs> that's besides the point. Uh... So, Lucario's sitting pretty in the city here with quite a bit of rage and aura under his belt, which can only spell disaster if B Square doesn't get this KO in soon. Like, look at that up throw got him up to 31. It's about 15 damage off of four alone, which is uncharacteristic for a character as fast as, uh, for his, for his never mind. Like, that would, you would never see that off of Toon Link. I don't think Toon Link's throws very much, but the pivot grab back throw isn't going to do it. Toon Link's back throw is still really good. Wow, that was such a smart read by B Squared. I really like that. That was just that was such great awareness by B Squared. Both these players really are just pushing these, the, uh, themselves to the limit of a typical Thursday night performance, and I really like that about this um, this set in particular. I really like. I can't express enough how much I uh, I can't put into words how much I'm actually enjoying watching this Lucario, because when you have up-and-comers who are just new to the scene, you just kind of assume, like when I was new to the scene, I was as free as free could get. And it's just, you know, like it's easy to assume once new people start showing up, you're gonna have uh, freebies coming around. But this, this DVQ guy shows that he is very familiar with this character and is is willing to show you that at the expense of your uh, confidence, which is good for still. I like that. You're here to crush dreams and make names. That's what I like more. Um, oh, I thought that was the side B. Side B will kill uh, the command grab of side B, not the projectile portion of it. Weird move. Uh, or sphere. Pretty much, Toon Link is looking in a rough, a rough spot right here. But uh, Beast Bear can get a couple of bomb confirms going. It could be a relatively even game. This is the command grab. That's what I'm talking about. That's also a projectile portion of that move, which can be pretty troublesome to deal with. Uh, luckily, Beast Bear. One thing that's nice about this matchup, I assume, Beast Bear can mitigate or sphere with. Three projectiles. Like she has three different options to stop that move dead in its tracks. Up tilt, not quite gonna kill yet. Throwing out the ore sphere a little preemptively, expecting a landing a bit sooner. Goes for the side view once more. Move is punishable and is a, can be problematic because of that. But once if you do land it, it's it's a very nice kill option. Goes for the side view yet again. If you keep starting to do a few panic buttons, B square nice shield there. Like I said, she's content to just throw out these projectiles, mitigate horse food, but that is going to take the game. Good stuff to DTQ, not losing his composure there, have, taking good advantage of his aura, and ultimately taking that, that game. Like I said, apologies, the games are reversed here, but now that the score is 1 1, it doesn't mean a game, so whatever. Okay. Alright, so I'm interested to see where this stage pick is going to go. I don't really know, again, I don't know what Beastware likes really as stages go. I'm gonna assume stuff that kills off the top, honestly. I just think that's probably what Toon Link goes for town. Yeah, see that. So I'm not wrong there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this next set started. Oops, wrong. Anyway. So we got the final game of loser semis here. Let's see what both players can bring to the table because they've both been showing that they're not ready to give up their bracket run just yet. Now, uh, kind of kind of uncharacteristic of Lucario getting low percent combos. Not really his thing. Double up smash there. Stales it a bit, but I don't think that's a problem because B-Squared has a lot of different moves. She doesn't just rely on up smash. So I think she's very content to just use the move in order to rack up damage. She... Uh, one thing I've never understood about Smash 4 is which is more powerful, Rage or or um, or Stale. Like I don't know which one has a more prominent effect. So I feel like it can be like it can be very troublesome to try and like know when a move could kill when you're trying to factor in both those aspects. Because honestly, Rage is safe. 
but I think that's enough on him. Uh, we do have Lucario getting the or getting plenty of aura now, so he's starting to get scary. But uh, that was interesting. Oh, looks like we have a throwback in Dubs. We have Boost and uh, Sparn team together. I haven't seen that. In but apparently, they used to team before. Guy here when Boost. <laughs> I love how B squared is taking advantage of the shielding aspect that Link and Team Link both share. Uh, if you just stand still, it can shield it better. Uh, it will shield any projectile perfectly. It won't even take damage. It won't even have to knock back. Lots of rolling at the ledge here. We're in a bakery for the time being. A bomb confirmed? Nope. Uh, rolls out of the way just in time for that. Ooh, good counter on the bomb there, but it rockets in the wrong direction, putting him in a pretty bad disadvantage state. He gets to the ledge pretty safely, and uh, now he's able to regain neutral. But good power shield by Rev. Or, Rev? Maybe it's called B squared Rev. Anyway, good power shield by, uh, by, by B squared there. Uh, and now Lucario's in a tight spot. Uh, this character, I, I genuinely don't know of any good kill tools he has when he doesn't have aura. I'm sure Randy smash attacks will always do something, but I don't, I don't firmly believe that, uh, that he, he just, he just doesn't have the options when he's at low percent. So it's kind of on Diffy Q to run that risk of trying to get some percent up so he can start getting reliable kills. However, okay, side B is apparently still ridiculous. Oh, right, 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 right. I forgot about when you're down a stock, you also get aura. So that's uh, that's on me there. But, um, <laughs> so never mind. You good options. I'm going to shut up now. Uh, I just, I, I feel like his combos probably aren't as solid at low percents. Or maybe they are. I don't know. This character's weird, man. And I play Pac-Man, so you know you have to be playing a weird character for me to say that. Still waiting for that Wii Fit trainer to come in. Waiting for a Wii Fit trainer to join the PC so then I can have a, a person who likes to play as weird of a character. Riffin Pepperoni Guy Hero on this year, Wii Fit trainer. Ooh, gets the bomb. Kind of a weird little combine there. And I see B Squared starting to go for um, some roll reads, characteristic of her late game. Excuse me. But um, B Squared honestly has some really good setups where she can just. Uh, she can, uh, she's just, she's so cognizant of when you'll be rolling that you have to be, uh, that you have to expect what she's going to do. And the aura cancel up smash is going to do it. So we have DPQ progressing onto loser's finals. B squared out of four. Quite an upset, I, I do say so myself. Hey, can we get some on commentary? DPQ, stay there. You're, you're playing next. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to switch this too.